So in my personal opinion, not financial advice. Um, I'm not really an accountant. So I'm just saying that I think this earnings report is bad. And people might argue, no, oh, this is not bad. This is good. Okay, well, that's their opinion and this is my opinion. My opinion is bad. Uh, as you can see, the net revenue was 176. Uh, gross profit was 44. And if you take out all the expenses, general, selling, market, and promotion, restructuring costs, you know, everything else. Well, this monetization is actually, I think it's like a tax write off. So I don't know if you can do that. But um, yeah, I think that's a tax write off. So you can actually minus that. But they still lost money compared to their gross profit. So still losing money. And their revenue dropped from last quarter because last quarter. They had $184 million of revenue, gross profit of $67 million. This quarter is $44 million of uh, gross profit. So they lost another $26 million or 20-ish million dollars of gross profit. Revenues dropped a little bit. Uh, cash, uh, their cash position dropped. So... Yeah, I don't know. Just not can't really say too much things positive about this earnings report. So yeah, two oh six to one seventy seven. So and the debt still pretty high up there. So I don't know. At the end of the day, I don't really like Toray. But, uh, you know, if the market, if MSOS continues to go higher and gets pumped to the moon, it might affect Tilray positively. But uh, I feel like we're going to see Tilray go down to below $2 US in the next couple of weeks. I don't know, maybe a week, two weeks from now. That's my opinion. I could totally be wrong, but uh, only time will tell if I'm right or wrong. Anyways, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.